Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to discuss a feature which I think desperately needs to be added to the Radeon driver suite and that is the ability to use some naive upscaling on any game using FSR. So I'm going to be giving an example of what this means but uh, for now I have uh, three benchmark uh, scores I want to show you so uh, I've been running Final Fantasy 15 that benchmark and I'm running basically the worst case scenario for Radeon cards which is running it in uh, wait what's this uh, no this is not what I want to uh, let's see if I can if I can draw something uh, yes so uh, I've been running it in high quality settings uh, sorry, um, so that is not good. Can I... Oh, I can actually delete that. Interesting. So I've been running it in high quality settings. So this is basically the worst case scenario for an AMD card. Because if you set the benchmark to high quality, it is going to use um, all of those GameWorks features that were added by NVIDIA. Uh, they really bog down the performance of the game. And they run really poorly on basically any hardware which is not done by by Nvidia so I'm just turning it on so you can see uh, what is happening here uh, it's uh, basically the game is running much heavier than it should uh, usually and uh, the first score I want to show you is in 1440p and uh, just uh, so I, I think it, it is worth uh, stating how the benchmark works so the way this benchmark works is when you do one one full pass of the benchmark, it takes your average frame rate and multiplies it by 100. So in this case, uh, I got 128 FPS average and uh, it multiplies that by 100. So that means I get a score of 12,800. So basically, this just means we got an average of 128 FPS. And, uh, well, we're going to be looking at three different scores of the same benchmark running the high quality preset. So, what is the first score? So, th this first, first score of 128 uh, FPS average was achieved with basically the stock setting of my card. Uh, well, a little worse than the, than the stock setting. So I have underbolted my card, so I have a, a little bit of an underbolt, and I'm running the card at 2500 megahertz. And uh, I also have it power limited, so I'm trying to, I'm very interested in saving as much power as possible. So I can tell you that the card is running roughly like the, uh, like the reference model just uh, using a bit less power so i am clocking at, at around 230 watts uh, at the peak 230 uh 240 watts at the peak and it is roughly on par with the with the reference model uh if, if you if you check uh, if you check the the clock speeds on that one so basically we here we're using 240 230 watts from the gpu only to get uh, 100 and roughly 130 FPS in 1440p. And then, uh, well, the next score I want to show you is using my ultra silent uh, undervolt preset. So uh, let's go and check that score. So here it is. So by reducing the clock speed, uh, so here what I did is I reduced the clock speed to 2000 megahertz. So this is uh, what I've been using for my ultra silent thunderbolt. Uh, usually, I can set the voltage to uh, 1,010 millivolts. Now I have it to 1,020 because I I like to overclock the memory uh, just a little bit. We have no power limit. We don't need uh, any power limits at, at this uh, frequency. And uh, with this setup, I'm getting at the peak. Uh, 160 watts of, of uh, power consumption so this is extremely efficient so if we set uh, 
if we lower the clock speed, we don't go 2,500 megahertz, but if we go 2,000 megahertz, which is a, a quite significant reduction, we don't lose a lot of performance. So in the same settings, so high quality, 1440p, uh, we get uh, an average score of almost uh, almost 11,000. So basically 110-ish FPS average. So so we're not losing very much, really. I mean, we're losing like 20 FPS. And uh, But now the difference is we are using... Instead of 250 watts, we are using 160 watts. So we are already uh, way, uh, way, way, way more efficient. So the third score I want you to look at is something which I obtained uh, today. And that was using a naive upscaling using FSR. So the third benchmark, benchmark score is the following. So now we are running the same. Uh, the same uh, preset with respect to the card, so 2000 megahertz. Uh, the voltage was now set to uh, 1010. I didn't do any memory overclocking, so it was just uh, lowering the the core clock of the card and lowering the voltage. No memory overclock. Uh, I didn't do any of that. We were running the game at 1080p. Okay, so the game was running at 1080p. But I was using FSR on top of, of that 1080p. So by using 1080p and FSR, we obtain a score of uh, 12,816. So this is actually a bit higher than the original score we got at native 1440p using 2,500 MHz. But uh, what happened here is once we started using FSR, uh, the card was often hitting my CPU. Uh, it was mostly CPU limited now. So, okay, my CPU cannot keep up with uh, uh, with high frame rates in this game. I'm sure if you had a 5600X, you can get even higher FPS. But the point here is that I was getting the same score as before with the card at 2500 MHz. But now, not only was the power consumption even lower, I was looking at the average values of 130 watts instead of 160 watts at 1440p. So not only is my power consumption even lower, I'm getting a higher score than I was before with the card at 2500 MHz. So, uh, okay, so, I mean, yes, we're running the game at 1080p, but if I if I'm being honest with you, if you look at how the game looks with FSR, even in this very naive implementation, it looks really good. I, I have uh, I, I honestly would play it that way if it if it meant uh, saving a significant amount of power. So how am I are we running that? Uh, that naive version of, of FSR. So that is using lossless scaling. So you can get this in in through Steam. You can just buy it. And it works on basically any game. Uh, I, I don't think it works in, in older tiles, but at least uh, DX11, DX12, and maybe Balkan, you can, you can use this. So you have to run the game in windowed mode and you would use lossless scaling to scale it up to, to the full resolution of your panel. And uh, one of the scaling types is precisely FSR. So uh, just to show you what happens with the power consumption uh, when we run the game through FSR, through naive FSR, uh, using lossless scaling. And uh, we're going to take a look at that. And just remember, I am recording the, this video using the card itself. So my score is not going to be as high probably and uh, I think the power consumption is going to be a bit higher as well because now we're using the encoder in the card so keep that in mind. But uh, we're just going to take a look and I'm, I'm sure you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So we're going to run uh, lossless scaling and we're going to take a look at the benchmark. So uh, I'm just putting the data up there for you. You're good. 
And You're good. You're good. Well, yeah. as you can see, we're around 120, 130 watts. And we have care. more than 150 FPS here. And if I'm honest with you, there's not a lot of difference between the Ready native 1440p picture and what you're getting here with that naive version of FSR. So AMD, if you can please add uh, a way of scaling any application, any any game we want using FSR in this naive version, I think this will be incredible for saving power because this is just ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just, my, my jaw is dropping to the floor. I mean, just save all that power, uh, keep your system running silently. You, you don't need to uh, keep those fans running at 100%. You don't need to worry about, uh, you know, the card being, uh, having all that coil wind. You, you, you just uh, lower the clock speed. You run the game in, in your target, uh, your target quality settings at uh, let's say around ultra quality preset of FSR so uh, 1080p or so for 1440p run it with FSR forget about it right I mean just game in a completely silent system let's go. the picture looks great I mean this looks fantastic to me and yeah just uh, just run it this way so this is all I wanted to show you uh, this is uh, Final Fantasy 15 running 1440p using FSR look at the power consumption I mean 140 watts and uh, yeah so I'm going to just uh, let the benchmark run and I'll see you guys in the next video oh by the way uh, leave your comments down below do you think AMD should add FSR to the driver suite like a naive version of FSR because I mean, just uh, looking at this uh, for the version, ride. the results are nice remarkable. With you. So, until next time, guys.